so what's up everybody today in this video we are going to see how we can make string reversal in c programming language okay we are going to first take the input from the user a string then we are going to reverse that string and print print it back to the user okay so let me first defi define the character data type okay for the string now let me give the space of 50 bytes now let me first print some messages to the user please enter the string to be reversed okay now let me scan it so there are two ways that you can take the character as input okay in c programming language so the one way is you can use a for loop okay in for loop you will uh, you must have to take each character as an input one by one okay but in this method that is in second method we are not going to use for loop we can directly input the string from the user okay we just have to use percentage s instead of percentage c and that is sorry percent character okay so this here this scanner function will take the all the characters from the user at once okay unlike percentage c okay now so um, the logic behind this program is that we are going to iterate through the string and we are going to print the string from the end of the string okay one by one let me say the string enter by the user is this okay so we are going to start from here this the last one e and we are going to come back from e to d c b and a and we are going to print character by character from the end of the string okay and one thing uh, you should know that here in c this there is one null character at the end of the string okay there is one say null zero uh, we can say slash zero okay this is a null character so null character is present in the end of the string okay we have to take uh, care of that also so let me use for loop okay for and i supposed to okay now we are going to first count the how many characters are there in the input okay so for this we are going to use inbuilt function strlen okay that is present in this library string dot at okay so strlen of character okay so it is going to return the length of this character that is input by the user okay then we have to reduce one from that why why we are reducing minus one from here because i have said that there is one null character at the end of the string so we have to exclude this null character okay so if this is an input so how many string there will be one two three four five and six okay so we have to exclude this so this strln ch will return the value six and we will reduce minus one so it will be five from this we have to iterate that, okay then for i greater or equals to, to zero i minus minus okay so we are going to iterate until the value of i is greater than or equals to zero okay so we are going to print the character person c okay ch now so this is it let me first compile it press f9 okay i have some done mistake oh i have this one okay so let me first compile press f9 and to run it press f11 so there is no error so let's play f11 let me enter a p c d e f okay i think there is some mistake here mm, it is running this character why it is so let me check Okay, so I have found a mistake that I have to write here. I okay, so I have to return all the character that is in the index of i. Okay, so that was the mistake. 
let me now paste up 11 a c d e f let me enter okay there it is right f e d c d okay hope you guys get it so what was the mistake the mistake was that i then enter the index value here, okay so this print app will print the single character one by one okay so first it will iterate to the first it will give the have the length of this character let me say five here okay and first the five five okay it will first print the character at the index of here five okay it will be ch5 first okay the so ch5 what we have we have e okay then it will go up the value will be reduced by one so now the value will be four okay now and the index here will be again four and the character at the four in index is d so now it will return d so it will continue in space so hope you guys like this video so if you like it please make sure to like share and subscribe